Hello. We're here. We've got more sealed. We do. Um, uh, we yeah. hope everyone there is staying <laughs> safe and warm. Yeah, Hopefully uh, you have power if you don't. Uh, use the warmth of your device as you watch our stream as to vast, stay alive. Yeah, as vast portions of this country become uninhabitable. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we wish you the best of luck. Um, so yeah. Uh, as a last resort, uh, light your Keyforge decks on fire. Mm, I don't know. I feel like just bury me with them. Bury, bury me with, bury my, me with, bury me with my frozen bury me. <laughs> light tasker. Yeah, it's just, there's like a, a Justin's frozen hand is sticking out of the Gripping snow it. and like light tasker is just still in the case clinging tight to the belt. So. Yeah. Just chilling in Minnesota? Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah it's just that. No, Minnesota has the infrastructure you. to handle cold right. weather unlike right. like Texas, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, I was our state. Our state. We can I, barely handle it, yeah. So, um, this was... Probably ten years ago, but there was a snowstorm in um, this state that the snow lasted for three days and it disrupted business for like three weeks. Um, the this was back when I was working at the comic store and we were getting um, you get weekly comic shipments. It took us three weeks to get like the first of those shipments because UPS there was so backed up and they you couldn't get to it they had trucks lined up they were just like shipping on as much stuff um as possible um it was it was a debacle uh, i i got to tell you it was incredible the whole the whole town just shut down I remember these decks this deck has the shatterstorm it does color we share no houses okay. exactly no houses so the collar is not that useful. Um, you could still, you know, you could still want things. This is the deck with the it. bonkers, Star Alliance and Starian, but the Brobnar is Brobnar. Like, yeah. It's too bad. Eureka, though. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what? Is it, is it the snow? Is it the snow? Could it be the snow, Eddie? Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Are you, are you finished? I would like to make my point. If you're, if you're quite finished. If you're quite finished. Are you... Sir. 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 Okay. Sorry, yes, grab, grab, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, give me this, give me this, he's gonna play some ropey bitey real quick to <laughs> put his mind to ease, all right, give me this, no, you give, no, no, you give me that, no, you give me that, you give me this, okay, jeez, <laughs> yeah, sorry, let me get this going, right. I'm distracted by our co-star over here, this is why, um, uh, I assume this is why you have people who get heed his warnings. I mean, he might be onto something. <laughs> Good for you. Well, it was like flash flooding here. Yeah, it, it was that bad. might be the bark that means that the basement is now underwater. Uh, yeah. Another another collection ruining uh, storm is coming through. Yeah, that's why we have all our stuff in the, in the upstairs now. I will. I I will not. I don't mind. The credits rolling and it's saying starring Eddie and Nathan as Nathan and Justin as Justin. Okay, I don't mind it saying that. But it will say co-starring. It's not going to say special guest Nathan, okay? <laughs> That's not the case. I will, I, will take this, I will take this to the tag, the, tit, the Twitch Actors Guild. I think I rolled a five as well. Uh, yeah. We're rolling incredibly. All right. <laughs> uh, all right, it's not Um, <laughs> I will. Do run first. I'll keep this hand. 
Uh, I am going to keep as well. I'm going to go first. I'm going to play Medic Ingram and Ward her. I'll play Logos. I will master the theory. Archive a card. And I'll play a lab work. And I'll archive a card. Alright, my turn. Yeah. I am going to say Sorry, I'm going to play Falafelsaurus. I'm going to put a Scootum on it. And then I'll put a Scootum on Ingram. Jeez. And it's your turn. I will draw. With this, I will banish the Falafelsaurus. Be gone. They're not finished with you. Um, I'll play as Gub. Little baby Gub. All right, I will say Starlands. So I'm gonna play Arms Master Molina. I'll play Stealth Mode. Uh, I'll discard Red Alerts. This isn't doing anything. And Ingram will reap, and I will ward Molina. Play. And I will draw. This. I'll play Charette and a Dust Imp, and I'll discard Binding Irons, and I'll reap Ugo. Your turn. All right, I will say Brobnar. I'm going to Berserker Slam Charette. Uh, I will play Overrun. It uh, doesn't really do anything here. I have to kill three or more enemy creatures. I will play Shorty. I will play Calfine. And it is your turn. I will draw four. So check with six. Say so, Logos. I'll play Eureka. Grab some cards. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Okay, you actually get that card anyway. I'll play this Quantum Finger Trap. And your turn. Okay. With, with eight, you do forge. I will say sorry, and I'll put the archives in my hand. I'm gonna play Golden Spiral. I'm gonna play two Prefectus Ludos. I am going to play Falafelsaurus, and then I am going to Imperium and Ward a Ludo and Falafelsaurus. I think my game plan is uh, ignore everything you're doing on the table and hope that and you don't win with it. <laughs> it's your turn. I, I don't know if I can do anything else. Uh, okay, I'll say Logos. I will play Titan Librarian, play Wild Wormhole. Speed Forge. Uh, Forge. Speed Forge. <laughs> yeah, really. Play Wild Wormhole for Yurk. Play Yurk. I will discard um, this Mind Worm. Yurk. And is this useful at all? Like soon, yeah, I can send Molina. I'll send Molina over there to the end. Swap. Oh, swap. I'll swap with Ludo. Okay. Gigantic archive. Um, I am prepared for Speed Forge. Yeah, gotta get ready. Mm, I think it's Starians too healing here. I'm gonna reap with Falafelsaurus. All right, so look at the top three. Archive one. Uh, I will discard skull. I will add. I'll archive one, and then I will add one. And then I will golden spiral the Philosophosaurus to ready and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll discard Mog Hunter. I'll archive. I will put this in my hand. I am going to play Senator Shrix. I will exalt. I am going to have um, 
I'm going to play this Triumph. I do think there's actually a solid chance that I use Triumph to win the game. Amber. What's that? It's it just gives me an Amber. Yeah, yeah. You have to have no creatures. Yeah. What is this? I cannot. It's sexy ramen. Cannot deal. Cannot deal with this. Cannot deal with this. I'm trying to play. I'm trying to take my turn. He sent you to sabotage me, didn't you? He sent, <laughs> he sent you. He sent you to sabotage me. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. <laughs> it's a sexy ramen. It's. Yeah, I'll show you. The it's frankly, it's frankly, it's disgusting. Eddie, hey. the sexy ramen. All right, so we got. Um, it says how romantic, Eddie. Stop getting it. <laughs> stop. That's it. Right. it. Says how romantic on it. And on the back, got some cooking instructions that'll focus. I'll show you to you. It says, draw a hot, sexy bath for the ramen. And then cook uh, cook until ramen is hot and bothered. And then it says, go ahead, spice things up. Uh, it says, serve it hot, baby. Hot like our love. So, sexy ramen. There you go. Uh, Eddie, Eddie, for some reason, uh, I think it's Becca believes that this behavior should be rewarded. <laughs> he sat very, very well during uh, the sexy ramen Uh I am going to play Ancient Power. Um, and I will ward everything that's got a. Uh, amber on it. Um, then the two Ludos are both going to reap. And I will say check with seven, and it is your turn. I will draw one. Okay. I'll say, uh, no, camp was actually open. He was at, he was at camp. I'll say this. I will play a blood shard imp play a yerk this card amber conduction unit play this collar what am i collaring i could get flop source just to take your stupid golden spiral flop source away um because that's sort of a problem although i kind of just want to kill it i could take tricks i Let's see. Taking an amber. I can fight Philophosaurus, fight Philophosaurus. I get to reap. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll fight, fight Philophosaurus. Okay. Um, that goes away. I'll call her the Strix. I will reap with Yerk. I got two for the dust dip dying. And the one for the reap with Yerk. Um, I guess I can reap with Yerk before playing the Blood Shard Imp. And then I'd. Okay, I will forge. Draw. And then the archive card. Okay, I am going to say Robnar. Um, Shorty is going to fight Gub, and that'll just gun it down with the assault. And uh, Calfine will fight the Titan Librarian. I will play Warrior's Refrain, which will stun each creature, I guess. Yes, I play this. Do I want to stun my Ingram? Ingram, yeah. I guess. Um, I'll play Gravel Guts and Croak. And it is your turn. I will draw. I'll forge. Yeah. 
All right, I will say <laughs> Cannot believe I'll this. say uh logos. I'll play by Night rupture. Can't see amber there. I'll play a memory chip. I'll play helper bot and helper bot will play three fates. So fives. Okay. Oh. I'll get Groke. I'll get Ludo. Get Robots. And that's it. Yeah. All right. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'll put the archives into my hand. I am going to play Transporter Platform. I am going to play a cloaking dongle here. I'm going to unstun Ingram. I will play Helmsman Spears. I am going to play Armsmaster Molina. I am going to play Molina's Blaster. I'll put it on Molina. Shoot uh, the Yerk for three. I will reap with Molina and shoot the helper pot for two. I will play Driscoll and I will play Kirby. Kirby doesn't have anything to play. Um, and it's your turn. I'll see Chuck with eight. I will get Shatterstormed. And it will be your turn. I will draw these five. Uh, I'm gonna say Mars and pick up the archive. Then play this key abduction. Now that key abduction. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Boom. Done. Boo. How, how are you going to boo that? That was boo. <laughs> that took all the setup for the entire game. Boo. Can't believe you're doing that. Forgot about the key abduction. I'm doing it, but chat me up. That's the entire point of this deck, I think. Is That's and how it works. Af after losing five games in a row, to lose the first game to key abduction? <laughs> with no... He didn't call Mars once that game! True. Until he decided to win! True. You notice, Code Red? Expert. That X fun. It's like, it's just dumb combo. Yeah. It doesn't. No, there's at cool. All. There's cool stuff. Like I yeah. like that Mars stuff. Like yeah. personally, I do actually like that Mars stuff. So, um, I like that that kind of thing exists. That's, uh, that's not a. It's a non-face roll version of a key abduction combo. Right. Which I like. Correct. Correct. Right. Because you have to assemble it over mm -hmm. several turns and. Luckily, that deck does gain a lot of amber as it's getting to the combo, so it can check, kind of forge the first two pieces. If it, yeah. I think if that deck runs into some amber control that throws it off, it just folds, but it's that, fun. That deck does not have a ton of amber yeah, control. Yeah, exactly. It's very proactive. Um, it's very pro I was like, I think I was, I, I had that insane Star Alliance turn, mm -hmm. and it's one of the, I, I, so I didn't draw either transporter platform until I was already through the deck, basically. Yeah. I think if I have the transport platform stuff, like slightly earlier in the game, then I think I probably win. So because uh, the um, the amount of amber I would have generated would have been like way more than I could have dealt with. Yeah, I had I had Shatterstorm last turn. So if you had, if I hadn't had the combo that turn, I could have Shatterstorm, but that would have put me behind on amber. So right, I, I was expecting. I mean. You just have to force him to use the Shadow Storm, right? Yeah. So that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to get to a situation. And like I said, I I I foresaw me needing the triumph to win the game. Um because yeah. uh I I would need to key cheat because it could there could be a situation um where I wouldn't be able to do The triumph is probably pretty important because it this... it might have been it may have been correct for me to archive the triumph. Yeah. Um uh earlier, right? So 
That deck just doesn't interact with the board. Except for Street Fates. That's, I think that's like about it. It's got a Banish. Color is actually pretty good. Uh, Alright, well. Okay, so I can start. I uh, well, Eureka. Yep, okay. That's a good one. I'll right, we'll see. Sorry, I'll play Golden Spiral and a Ludo and Ancient Power. Okay, I will. Uh, Wild Wormhole. To fight my brain, I will play Quantum Finger Trap. And I will lab work. Jeez. <laughs> I will archive this. And it is your turn. I will draw four. So check with six. All right. I'll say the, uh, sorry. I'll play Golden Spiral. I'll play Philophosaurus. I'll use the Golden Spiral. To ready and reap. Philophosaurus. So I get to uh, archive one. One hand. Discarded. I will scoot him. The source and I'll reap. The reaper just kills Titan Librarian. Uh, I'm just gonna kill this Titan Librarian. Cause yeah. Your turn. Okay. I will forge. I am. I am going to say disc. I'm going to put the archives into my hand. I will... Surprise that Philosopher's doesn't exalt itself. Yeah. I feel like it should, right? Uh, not finished with you. Yeah. I will shuffle into time. Yeah, right? it's, I think it, it's I think pretty it's, good for the game plan. I think it's pretty important. I just, I, it's just like worth it. Yeah. I, you know, you, you draw it, it and as long as you've got like one other creature to go with it, it's not necessarily dead, right? So... I will three fates. Um, Guess I'm not gonna call. Sorry, next turn. And I am going to uh, discard anguish and return. Okay, I'll say Brobner. I'll play Warriors Refrain and an Overrun and. Slimy Jerk and a Shorty and a Gravel Guts. Here's it. I am going to say Mars. I will Shatter Storm. Okay. I will Flock some Spike. Uh, Just Slimy Jerk. Slimy jerk. Uh, and then I'm going to play all these idiots. Ugh. Two Xanthix Harvesters, Human, and Zookeeper. If anybody's wondering why I discarded the Anguish, it was because of Flock some Spike. Wanted to make sure that I could hit it and have as many like Mars guys ready to go as possible. So, uh, go ahead. All right, I'll say Starlands. I'll pick up the archive. Play a transporter platform. I'll play a transporter platform. I'll play a stealth mode. Play Com Officer Kirby. And I'll give him Cloaking Dongle and Malin's Blaster. Don't have anything to play off the Kirby, unfortunately. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's what happened to me. It's like, oh man, I played all but one of the cards in my hand. I guess I don't have anything to play with Kirby. It's good quick age for you. Quick. Now, I know he's just asleep. This is the first time I've seen this dog's eyes closed in like three days. Jeez. That's good. Oh, we got the new treats I showed off yesterday, but uh, they're like premium biscuits. Look at the biscuits. A biscuit. Okay, I am gonna say Mars. I'm gonna play Mindworm. I am gonna reap with Xanthix Harvester. I'm gonna reap with Xanthix Harvester. I am going to reap with Agent Human. 
Uh, I have no Mar no non-Mars creatures, and I will stun Shorty. Uh, and then I am going to reap with Ukslix, and I am just going to stuff this Kirby into this Archives before something degenerate happens. Um, these are... And it is your turn. I'll say check with seven, and I will draw one. Uh, I'm in danger. I'll say <laughs> Saurian. I'll play Ludo. I'll play Triumph. I will use Golden Spiral. The Unsun Shorty. I'll use Golden Spiral to fight the, I guess, Zookeeper. It's not great. Um, your turn. Check with six. Okay, I will forge. I was actually just going to win in an entirely different way. Yeah. This game. <laughs> Reaping Go with... from not playing Mars to playing all the Mars creatures. Yeah. I am going to... I think that's just like... That's like our two play styles yeah. just uh, demonstrating in game. Uh, I'll reap with Xanthix Harvester. I will reap with Xanthix Harvester. I will reap with Agent Human. Uh, I will stun uh, Shorty. And then the Mind Worm will attack Gravel Guts, and before fight, the creature Mind Worm fights deals damage to equal to its power to each of its neighbors. So, uh, Gravel Guts will beat Prefectus Ludos to death, mm -hmm. um, and then Mind Worm will crash into Gravel Guts. You will get two plus one plus one fires. So, I will say check with six, and it is your turn. Say Brobnar, play Calphine and Calphine, and I'll Berserker Slam. The Harvester. Definitely. I guess I forged, yeah. right? Uh, Gravel Guts will fight the Harvester, I guess. Some more counters. Another treat. Jeez. Oh my god. Rule of six. It's only three. Yeah. I thought I thought you amended the rule of six for these treats specifically. It might be a rule of three for these treats. We'll see. Alright, we have one more of these. Okay. We do still need finite stuff, by the way. Just throwing that out there. So y'all know. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna buy Nate Rupture. Okay, well. <laughs> well. And I will master the theory. And I will play a Titan Librarian and a Helper Bot. I will banish a California. So you check with a million. Yeah, that's uh that's, that's too many for sure. Completely trashed that game. The Mars. Oh yeah, well. It's the classic the classic AOA style deck that defies logic or reason. I like that deck a lot. Yeah. It's just fun. What's uh what was your VT AOA deck, the one you had at Richmond? Titanus sim Hopkinson. It was just very similar very, to that. Very similar yep. to this, right? It was very sim similar. And I played it as the same kind of like I just built up the archive and then tried to hit a big knowledge of power and I would hold I would hold Shatterstorm and stuff. Yeah. So it's it's very similar. Lots lots of the same calling cards. Yeah. That game was close to going off the rails for me. <laughs> I, um because uh, that Kirby, good lord. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would have lost. If that didn't, hadn't have been gone. I would have lost entire parts of my ass. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that was a speed forge right there. Good lord. That was quick. Sub 30 minutes for our first round. All right. Frau. Sync Sphere moves on. Okay, I'm on. Not the whole ass, no. Genius hide egg. Dick and cry I, love. I do believe this deck makes for long games, so we'll see what happens. Nice little pink sleeves, like them. 65 sass. 64 sass. It's mass mutations. The... 
I believe the Genius High deck has the highest A of any deck we own. 19 is a lot. A 19 is a lot, yeah. <laughs> we do need more undercard matches, so. What was that deck? Let me let me take a look. The Cole of the Week. Yee on the fringes. Mm -hmm. I'll have this. It's good. Fang Tooth, Unnatural Selection, the fittest. Gorbs. Okay. Give it Garcia, Transporter Platform, Uncharted Lands. So Wednesday we're going to do Gauntlet Jack Feet. Yeah. By the way. That might be a longish gauntlet stream too, because Jack Feet's games are not quick. You have a twenty-eight A. Woo! That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of A. Good lord. Gosh. Big A on that deck. Yeah. Medigan group. 27 versus 28. That would be a four-hour game. You'd love to see it. I'm having deja vu. Yolker. How's it going? Hello. Okay. I... Uh... I'll play Shadows. I'll Dark Wave, hit the ward there, and I'll play Shadow Smith. Okay, I am going to say Starlance. I'm going to play Lieutenant Kirker. I'm going to play Chief and General Walls. I'm going to reap with Ingram, who will ward herself. And it is your turn. I'll draw to you. Nathan Sweep, you already lost a game, so sorry. Sorry to report. But he did win the second game. Yeah. I will say Sanctum. I'll play. How, how do we feel about House Dis leaving? I'm fine with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, um, all, all the houses have to leave at some point. Yeah, I think, I think. As uh, long as Logos never leaves. Yeah, I think um, them swapping out. Let's so say, like, Saurians and Sanctum were kind of like a clean swap, and Star Alliance and Mars were kind of like a clean swap as well. Because they. At least in Worlds Collide, they kind of had like the same um, general game plan, right? So when they brought Sanctum back, dropped out Brobnar, it kind of, I don't know what their design process for like a full set is, but um, you swap out like a primary fighting house for another primary fighting house. I think that's kind of clean. And this so, is like focused on board control, right? Yeah. And like a little bit of amber control. So swapping if un out, yeah, the unfathomable does that. Or this cool. makes sense then, right? No more control of the weekend market is. is Great. I'm great with that because <laughs> I hate those cards. This is great. Um, uh, I'm going to play Purify. I'm less mad at. Um, just puts into play, right? Yes, but I think you still get play, play effects, right? Or no? No, uh, I think if you put into play. Put into play right? Yeah, I don't think you get the play effects. That's fine. This play, I think, uh, specifies from hand. Your turn. Uh, okay. I am going to say um, I am going to say Untamed. I'm actually just going to discard this Fang Tooth. The thing actually hurts me um, uh, right now. So I will play Ghost Hawk 
so that I can reap with Medic Ingram, and I will ward walls, and then I will reap with Kirker, and then I will play Mustic Mermook and shoot Old Luna. And it is your turn. I will draw three. All right, play Zarian. I'll play a Faust. I'll play Crystal Surge and copy or uh, capture one on Faust. I believe there are no mutants in play. Exalt each mutant creature. Human, nope. beast, alien, Handuan, Handuhan. <laughs> okay. Human and beast. So I'll play a Ludo. Your turn. Uh, all right. I am going to say. Um, I remember this deck now. I see the card that made me very mad when I last played against this deck. Uh, I'm going to say Dis. I'm going to play EE. -E. I'm going to discard Misery Exploit and purge it to steal one. I will discard Harbinger of Doom and uh, purge it to steal one. I will play Evil Eye. And I will play Born Its Touch. And if I remember correctly, it was co it was actually correct to purge um, your own card in this deck, right? At least in the first matchup. Yeah. Um, I mean, well... This card? That card's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. This card's pretty bad, so yeah, yeah you're out of here. Um, all right, we'll shuffle the deck. Uh, I don't actually say check here because of my own Mermaid. Um, also Faust. Yes, also Faust. And it is your turn. I will draw five. Uh, I'm going to play Sanctum. Play this Lady Lorena. Oh, yeah. And then I'll play Lyco Knight. Your turn. Yeah, remember that. Hyper Taunt. Taunt 2, Hyper Taunt. Uh, okay. Untamed time? Just make some sort of cool formation here. <laughs> All right. I am going to say Untamed. I am going to reap with Ghost Hawk. <laughs> I will unnatural selection. Choosing my Mermook, my Medic Ingram. I guess EE. -E. These die, the uh, walls loses that. I'm gonna choose those three. Lorena can stay. Oh, uh, die. sorry, sorry. Lorena can die. Okay. These three can stay. Lorena's out. Um, and then the Mermook will fight Faust. That's gone. Yeah. All right. Um, I will then play Tintadlin, um, and I will unsuspecting prey to put two damage into. Yeah, it's your turn. I will say check with eight, and I will. Draw. Okay, I'll say shadows. Play ransack. Deal one. Yep. Yeah. Two. I'll play Ray Penny. Deal one. Play Boss Eric and a Nexus and Perplexing Sophistry, which doesn't do anything because I'm tied. And uh, I'm done. Okay, I'm going to say Shadow. Oh, sorry, uh, Starlight. So we'll play Transport Platform. I am going to put a cloaking dongle on Medic Ingram. I am going to put an Explorer Rover on Medic Ingram. Um, I will play Frayne. I will capture one onto Padlin. Uh, Walls is going to fight Nexus, and then Medic Ingram is going to fight Nexus. Uh, and uh, Medic Ingram is going to ward Frayne. Actually, I'll ward EE. -E. It's kind of a pain to get to. Um, yeah, I uh, gotta take out Nexus there uh, if I want to use my transport platform. So, all right, and it is your turn. I will draw. 
Go ahead. Okay, I'll say uh, Sanctum. Check this out. Uh, purge the most powerful creature. This is Antadlin. I will fight Frain. I'll Burning Glare to stun the Medic Ingram. I'll use Font of the Eye. I'll use Font of the Eye. I'll, just, I'll put it on Zerk. Give this guy's elusive and also check with Seth. Okay, I am going to say um, Star Alliance. I'm going to play Arms Master Molina. I'm going to play uh, Garcia. Um, I am going to unstun Ingram. I going to have walls just reap. And I will say um, check with six. It's your turn. I will draw to you. I could transport platform there, but I don't like removing the word off of uh, uh, Ingram. So good. I'll say I'll say Sanctum. Play Anaphil and get the word. Like a knight will fight Garcia, so hazardous then damage. He's got skirmish, so. Oh he's got skirmish. So just hazardous. I'll use the font, and I'll use a font. That's fine. Oh. Okay, I am going to say this. I am going to reap with EE, -E, and then I'm going to discard four Jeez. to steal four. If you TP Garcia and play her again, she increases key also. Yeah, she does. Correct, yeah. Yep. Oh, so you, I guess you you're this in that deck. Yeah, I'll say check with nine and I will draw four. I'll say sorry. Play a monument to Faust and use the damage on that to kill E. I'm gonna play a Faust and capture icon on the Faust. I'm gonna play a high priest Torvus. Um, I will discard Sagittarius Gaze, because I can only insult my, insult my own stuff. I'll use a font, and I'll use a font. Pluto, Reap. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I am going to play Unnatural. I forge. No, no I don't. No, no, no. Okay, I will for, uh, play Unnatural Selection. Um, I am going to choose. Um, Zarek. Four of us. Bad penny. Everybody else dies. Uh, you get. That. I get Ludos, but the others go away. I am going to unsuspecting prey and shoot all of them. I am going to play Imprinted Mermook, and then I'm going to play two copies of the fittest. And 
and I will say check with 11, I will draw these five, and it's your turn. Okay, I'll say Zarian, play Stars Rex and Ludo. Corvus will creep. I'll use Monument to Faust to make these cost plus two. Okay. Oh, your turn. I'll pay the whatever at this point. Just I'll pay uh, seven. Yep. They're just effing forge. Good lord. <laughs> Okay, I am going to say um, Star Alliance. I am going to play Uncharted Lands. Six. I am going to put Force Field on Ingram. Ingram will I just transport a platform for now. Um, I think she actually fights Ludo. Or three? Yeah. Um, then I transport a platform her. Oh, she's five. Can, um, she's five. Okay. She so she kills him. You can ward first too. Yes, I'll ward the Mermook. Um. Okay. Then I'll transport a platformer. That's all this. Ward. Uh, and the ward's gone. I will put a force field on walls. I will put cloaking dongle on walls. I will put Explorer Rover on Molina. I will put Explorer Rover on Walls. Um, walls will reap. I will get the one off of Uncharted Lands. Um, Molina is going to fight Saurus Rex. Um, and I will say check with okay and we'll draw shuffle and draw three hmm all right i'll say thank him play two gorma bombs and cleansing wave and the The Ingram didn't go back to the hand because she had a ward. Ward. Yeah. Token, yeah. She was warded at the time. Uh, you can ward walls from the force field. Yes, that's correct. All right. Um, so I, you don't have any taxing at this time. I will forge five. I am. I think I say Star Alliance because those Gorms are ready to detonate all my cool, all my toys. Um, I will reap with walls, get one off of uncharted lands. I will transport platform walls so the war goes away and these come to my hand. I am going to put the cloaking dongle on Ingram. Put the force field on Ingram. I'll put the explorer river on the Mermook. Um, I think I just reap twice. I'll reap with Molina, who is going to get the Uncharted Lands Amber, and then I'll reap with Ingram. That's the Uncharted Lands Amber. She will get a ward from Force Field, and then she will ward Falls. And I'll say check with. Okay, I can't stop. Though. My old answers were gone. The well, I I was I, I felt like you were like a turn away from assembling a pile of creatures that I would never ever be able to kill. Yeah, the unnatural uh, selection was pretty good. Yeah, this deck has two of them. Yeah, so give him the clamps. The clamps. Yeah, the EE just dumping just it's still later chamber later dis. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I can see that game going in the other direction, though. I think so. 
and it, it, like I th you I think you you expanded into the second unnatural selection. I think if you'd kept your board like four or five creatures, then the unnatural selection wouldn't have been able to. Yeah, just battles. like I my turns would have been so bad. Yeah, if I was doing that. The other deck probably has really dumb, good matchups, though. Uh, yeah, I think this deck has incredibly polarizing matchups. You could say, you could argue the same thing about that deck, too, though, I think. I think so. Because um, I think if if you had been putting any amount of pressure, right, I think then that deck would have been in trouble. Mm -hmm. It's the classic, you need the action answers to creatures to go with deploying a board so that way you can... It's not play four creatures and then your opponent does some degenerate stuff and you're like, okay, well, I'm ready to use my four creatures now, but the degenerate stuff has already happened, yeah. right? So. What's up, Exus? How's it going? Our weekend was not bad compared to other people's weekends. So. Compared to anybody who woke up buried under snow today. I, I just watched... Two GTA RP streams at once the entire weekend, which yeah. is like, I am thankful that GTA RP is help, helping me get through the beginning, beginning part of 2021 right now, because <laughs> otherwise it sucks. I'm just ready to do literally anything other than stay in a house. Yeah. What's up? It was uh, your first second. <laughs> Not going to work last night. I will play Fawn of the Eye. Go ahead. I'll play Starlands. I'll play Ingram. Play Walls. I'll play Explorer. Your turn. All right. I'm going to say Starlands. I'm going to beware the eyes that wall, uh, Ingram. Then I'll play Faust, Saurus Rex, and Prefectus Ludo. Then I will tell you your move. I'll say Starlance. I'll play Lena. Go there. I'll play Explorer Rover on Ingram. Fight Saurus Rex. I'll fight Saurus Rex. I'll ward Ingram. Walls. Reap. And your turn. All right, I am going to say Sarians. I'm going to play Monument to Faust. I'll use the, the damage to ping off the board on Ingram. I am going to play Dreadbone Decimus. I am going to exalt. We are going to kill, I think, actually, Armed Master Molina. Um, Prefectus Ludo will fight Medic Ingram. And then Faust is going to reap. And... I am going to font the eye onto Faust. It is your turn. Off. So this, I'll play Binding Irons. I'll play Inspector. I'll play Born It's Touch. So, um, Spurs. Your turn. I am going to say Sanctum, I'm going to play Font of the Eye. It's, it's, it's so tempting to. I uh, want to go back to starting in that turn, but I wouldn't be playing anything from my hand. Uh, I'll play Lady Lorena. So, let's begin the wedge formation. 
I am going to play Burning Glare. I'm going to stun Walls, I believe. It's close between Walls and Inspector. Then I am going to Purify, and there are no mutants in play. Um, and I will put this on Lorena. And in return, I will drop a chain and draw three. All right, I'll say Untamed. Play a Ghost Talk, and I'll reap. Play Creed of Nature. Play a Mermook and Blast Ludo. Ludo. Play Unsuspecting Prey. Do two to those two. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Sarian. I'm going to play Lycosaurus. I will exalt. I will do three damage to Explorer Rover. I don't. I think I want to limit the amount of damage that can be done by a uh, Uncharted Lands from the hand. Um, Dreadbone Decimus is going to reap. I will exalt. Oh, no, he's, got a, he's got a fight. He's got a fight. Mm. the same thing. He'll reap and then I'll reap with Faust. Um, and it is your turn. I will... Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna onto the eye. Uh, Lycosaurus and Lorena. Okay, drop chain and draw. Um... I'll say Starlance. I'll play a Transporter Platform. Play a Frain. Capture one. Put on the answer. Unstun walls. Go ahead. Okay, I am going to say Starians. Uh, Dreadbone Decimus is going to fight walls. I will exalt. He's elusive. You kill the Mermoog. Um, Lycosaurus is going to fight Crane, and then Faust is going to reap, and uh, I'll mime it to Faust you, and then I will font the onto, I guess, Faust. And it's your turn. I'll say check with six. Go ahead. Okay, I'll, I'll say drop this chain. This. Play buying irons. Get you some chains, son. I'll play Rock Grub. Play Evil Eye. I will. Sure does have Hyper Taunt. I guess I'll reap with this. Imp. Your turn. Sure has Hyper Taunt. I am going to say Shadows. I'm going to discard Nexus and Shadowsmith. Um, I will ransack steel and then stop. I will perplexing sophistry. I'll play the secret. Hmm. Well, it's not a bad one. That's, hit. That is a good one. Not a bad hit, and it is your turn. I'll say check with seven, I'll drop a chain and draw four. Um, I'll say this. I will play a little fall, play misery exploit. Yep, for chain two. two. I'll reap with rock grub. I'll reap with inspector. Your turn. Okay, I will forge. I am hmm. 
I'm gonna say Saurian. I am gonna discard High Priest Torvus. Cards that are good at handling future sets. Probably every anything that references mutants or mass mutation, right? Like uh Kurzat. Uh yeah, that's a good one. And a certain mutant decks. Um tax key taxing is generally pretty good. Cards with amber scaling generally pretty good in the future sets, right? It's clear, like, Mass Mutations, for instance, is a set that has very high burst potential, but very low scaling amber control. I think the only real exception being Effervescent Principle, um, and that can hurt you as much as it uh, hurts the opponent. So not every deck with uh, Effervescent is going to be like a... Like a uh, it's a deck that wants Effervescent, I should say. Um, okay, I am going to... I th I think just reap a bunch. Um, I'll reap with Faust. I'll reap with the Decimus. And then I will have Lycosaurus kill something. Killing Imp Spectre is the same. Kill the Imp Spectre. It's possible I should have left the High Priest Torvus in my hand before this. I don't really care if it gets purged. Purge. Or well, would have preferred to have kept that, but that's not the card. Of. So, all right. Uh, your turn. I will draw. I'll mine. I'll oust you for good measure. Um, I'll draw to you. All right. I'll say untamed. I'll play unnatural selection. Yep. Um, I'll select these three. I'll select those three. So not Lorena more. dies. Yeah. I will play the fittest. Get some counters. I will use the creed of nature on Ghost Hawk. Fight Faust. Okay. Salting three. And Scott Skirmish. I'll discard on Spectre and Prey. And your turn. Check with 11. Uh, I think I would be a fool if I did not use the Monument of Faust here. So I am going to say Saurians. Um, Lycosaurus going to fight Lilithal. And I will Sagittarius Gaze and Exalt Lilithal. I am going to Monument to Faust, and I am going to Reap with Dreadbone Decimus. I will drop a chain and draw. I'll say check with six and turn. I'll for eight. I'll say, or I'll say uh, this and pick up the archive. Play Rock Rib. Make you lose one. I'll call the weak. The Decimus. I'll discard Harbinger. Lothal. Bill. Oh, it's got Fight Reap. Oh, okay. Your turn. Okay. Yeah, Lothal, Lothal is like a solid creature. It just looks bad in comparison to the rest of. Uh, it doesn't just play teams. Fight Reap. Yeah, it look it looks silly when yeah. you compare it to like the average star lions or uh, dinosaur creature from uh, Worlds Collide. All right, I am going to say shadows, and I'm going to dork wave. All right, I'm going to wave to these dorks. They're extremely powerful dorks, and I will play a rad penny. And I'm gonna play a boss of Zarek. And I'm gonna secret needle rad penny. I will font the eye. I guess I'll throw both on boss Zarek. And I will say check with nine. It's your turn, I will draw four. I'll say Star Lance. Play Kirker, play Garcia, 
Make the keys cost plus two. I will reap with walls. Get me a robot. Robot? A robot. I don't think there's any attachments in this deck. Or are there? No, I there's not seen them. I haven't, I haven't seen them. Yeah, wow. there's like, there were several. Yeah. And they're solid. That's crazy. Uh, I'll use transport platform on walls. So I want you to forge here, I believe. For eight. I'll play walls. I'll get yeah, another stupid you, explorer over. You don't want me killing Garcia. Before I can make you tax? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'll give Kirker an explorer over. I'll give Garcia an explorer over. Because if I go to one here versus me killing Garcia and then forging for six and then having enough to threaten immediately. Exactly. I think that's... Your turn. Okay, so I will forge for eight. Mm. I am going to say Sanctum. I'll play Fawns of the Eye. I will play Lyco Knight, and I will Fangs of Gizzleheart the Kirker. And it is your turn. I will draw three. I'll say Untamed. Play a Natural Selection. I'll discard Fangtooth. Play Imprinted Mermook. I'll play the fittest. Some puff crabs. Very thick crabs. Ghost Talk. Everything's pretty elusive. Uh, so go stock will read. Your turn. Draw. Okay, I am going to say Saurian. I'm going to play Prefectus Ludo. I, I guess I'll play this Crystal Surge. Um, Do you have Mutant? You have yeah. two mutants. You have yeah. three mutants. Oh yeah, no, they're all getting exalted. Jeez. Don't, don't you worry about that. <laughs> um, but I do get to capture one. I'll capture one of Ludo. And then uh, Lycosaurus... Sorry, Lyco Knight is... Wait, I said Saurian? Yes. Mm. Lycosaurus is going to fight um, Garcia to death. And I will then use these three font of the eyes. Uh, I'll just dump all these onto Go night, I guess. And I will monument to Faust. It's your turn. It's actually funny. I wish I could turn Skirmish off so I could get these guys to, <laughs> to die. Yeah. Um, to just get rid of that amber. Okay. I'll say Star Alliance. Are you growling in your sleep over there? <laughs> I'll play these stupid attachments that I haven't seen all game. Plug Nongo Force Field onto this walls. A reap with walls, a ward walls, get back a rover, I use transport platform stuff, this is a ward, play the stuff, and I'll play this card on this crab. Let's check with. Okay, I'm going to say sorry. I'm going to play a Faust, who's going to capture onto itself. I am going to uh, reap with Ludo, and then reap with Lycosaurus. Tax you for a lot. And it is your turn. I will draw one. Rough for light tasking. I guess I'll say this. Play EE. -E. Uh, that's a rock run. Play EE. -E. I'll discard these four discards and purge them. <laughs> Steal four. I'm done. Okay. Right. 
I am going to say shadows. I will play opportunist on Faust. I am going to play Rad Penny. I will Seeker Needle EE. Um, I'm going to discard Shadow Smith and Old Bruno. We're already over budget on creatures right now. I am going to reap with Zarek. And I will use these three fall onto the odds. I'll dump three onto Rad Penny. And it is your turn. I will draw this and then shuffle and draw. So it's Dark Lance. Landroid Lance. Trading boss be better there. Um, I mean, I'm trying to, I gotta like win the game at some point, I think. Boss can only fight the ghost talk. I think it's like medium there. I, I, it is a consideration. I'll read the walls. I will uh, board walls. I will use transport platform. Well, uh, the I guess the reason not to kill off Zarek there is because he's giving all of my creatures elusive right now. Um. And uh, Justin could then fight with his creatures for free, as opposed to having to trade two, right? I don't. I don't think it's bad value, right? Like it's not. I think it's a defensible play, and I think it depends on the player and what you think is coming from Justin. So, okay. I'm done. I could take a one. They do not get threatening, right? Plus five, so I am technically. Plus six. I had a minus one. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm exactly threatening right now. Okay, I am going to say Saurian, I think. I'm going to Faust for good measure, which is only plus one. Um, the Lycosaurus is going to fight the Ghost Hawk. Um, I am going to Beware the Ides to murder the Mermook. Um, I will then Reap with Ludo and Reap with... Faust. Um, and then I'm going to font the eye. All of this under Rad Penny. And I'll say check with seven. It's your turn. Uh, one. I cannot stop. Can't stop. <laughs> I didn't draw back into an. A natural selection. Yeah, yeah. I need. I just need to do that, basically. Right. Two, I mean, I like figured, basically two turns earlier. I figured. One turn earlier. I figured as long as Faust was still alive and I could protect Faust from like the bulk of the stuff, then um, I could just keep piling stuff up. And as long as I just kept threatening. Right? Also, uh, I drew. I drew them together too, so I was holding the second one for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So it was like a soft chain. That... Yeah. Yeah, it was close to running out of amber tokens. It was very close. <laughs> well, I had like 20 on my creatures. Yeah. Alright, game number three. This is the first game three for a while, in a while in this tournament. Yeah. I don't think, if anybody's thinking about pairing us up against Light Task Fear, you remember how I had all these important artifacts in play that mm -hmm. were helping the game? Uh, I would just lose, right? And you know how I was protecting my board by um, having Prefect of Salida? Well, you just get Hysteria. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
God, that's um, I will, deck, right? If you if you if you submit high deck for me to play against Light Tasker, I will do my best. I will try my hardest. However, high deck I think is a uh, worse version of Hell Rollin. I think they're comparable. I think they probably have better or worse matchups. Um uh, based off just like a handful of cards, but um, yeah, I Lorena is a great card, right? It's like a better, um, it's a better what's his name, um, champion Anafil. Oh yeah, uh, Lorena is a better champion Anafil, right? So um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that Light Tusker really cares about Lorena. It stops snag, but like. Yeah, Lorena does not have an effect that Light Tusker cares about. Yeah. I mean, honestly, a I think this deck, Krylog, would have a better chance against Light Tusker than that deck. Because EE is actually a consideration against Light Tasker. Because um, you can end up purging a lot of the light the important Light Tasker disc pieces. And I think if you can if you can force uh Light Tasker into a game where it has to bounce between Logos and Shadows, you can play around one or the other um so joya so like the th only thing was like in in hell mall and it had joys out but light tasker just didn't care because it didn't it doesn't really need to win the game fast right so it doesn't really need to reap creep a lot of the time i think it was just throwing out uh like hysteria turns it off and yeah you lose the star lance tricks Snecklifter platform would be very good. In <laughs> yeah, no, you don't play the you don't play the um the platform. The platform's yeah. got to go. But the uncharted lands you can play, mm. and that's fine. Uh, wards are, are good against Light Tasker. It doesn't have like it doesn't have great ways um, to get around it. And uh, unsuspecting, I mean, sorry, unnatural selection is actually really good against Light Taskers. Fangtooth is probably medium, medium to not great. Um. Fangtooth is actually good because Light Tusker has a lot of two power creatures. Yeah, well, you just don't, you can't play like your shadow stuff. Yeah. Um, so was it your first? Uh, I rolled an eight. And I think you rolled a six. Okay. Unless it was the other way around, but. Mm. I am going to keep. I'll keep this one. I will play a turn one creed of nature. Go ahead. I'll play. Uh... Perplexing Sophistry. Draw a card. Wow. The evil eye. Um, eye. I will... So I have three creatures. Now, do I play these three Shadows creatures? Of medium value? Of medium to terrible value. I like having the Shadow Smith, because... Like, oh, yeah. It's probably worth it to keep one Shadow Smith around. I was thinking about just playing a Shadow Smith and then um, discarding these. Yeah, but those, I was the rest seem not great. I'm either playing all three or I'm just playing Shadow Smith. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't hate playing all three because those reap pretty right. effectively. And I could regret that. So I mean, if you don't have a natural selection, so I'm just gonna go and play them. Yeah, no reason to get cute, I guess. All right, I am going to say this. I'm gonna play Misery Exploit. Okay, November. I will play. Imp Spectre and Harbinger, and I will play Bornet's Touch. And there's no one card in that deck that really beats this deck, right? Because it's like so. three Fawn of the Eyes, double Fouls. A Mountain of Fouls. There's um, a double, there's two, uh, two Ludos. I think it's three Ludos, right? It's two, I think. Uh, it's two Ludos, yeah. Three Fouls, right? Um, two Fouls, two Ludos. Two Fouls, two. Um,. So it's like all the cards you want to get rid of are in multiple. So I think I just uh, bore its touch. I think this is an easy unsuspecting prey because it barely touches anything in the deck. So, yeah. all right. Um, the rest of that is going to get shuffled. And it is your turn. We'll draw off. Of play Sanctum. I'll play two fonts. And too play... fast, too Ludo. Yeah. Champion. For sure. It's the Faust and the Furia starring <laughs> Ludo Chris.
pretty good. Star Lance. Dongle. It's like make the Harbinger strictly worse by equipping Explorer River to I'll play two Explorer Rivers. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Play Saurian. Play Dreadbone Decimus. I will exalt it to kill the Harbinger. Okay. So you get that. Just clean up the table real yeah. quick. The Harbinger, I think, is actually a problem. Um, so. You get to Inspector me. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to play this Monument of Faust first. Okay. And then Dreadbone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's not irrelevant. I will play a Faust, I'll play a Faust, I'll play Crystal Surge. Capture. Use Font. Your turn. Alright, I'm going to say Untamed. Oh no, play Unnatural Selection. I will play Mermook and shoot the one that's got two on it. I will play a Tentadlin, and then I will play the Fittest. Buff these crabs, buff these trees, and it is your turn. I will draw four. Huh. Uh, let's see, shadows. I Crab will. Tree over there, the Mermook. Ow. And I'll play Opportunist. Faust. I'll use Monument. No, I can't do that. I'll use... Nope, you can't do that. Your, your turn. Alright, I am gonna say this. I am gonna call the week on Faust. I am gonna play EE. -E. Then screw it. <laughs> discard these three discards. Actually, uh, because I don't have to purge them specifically. I am gonna purge binding yards. I am gonna purge misery exploit. And did you play binding yards? I did not. Oh, I discarded, you discarded it. it. Okay, yeah, discarded it. Um, is it worth getting rid of inspector? I got two. Let's get rid of inspector. We'll get rid of these steel things. Say so check with eight. And it's your turn, I will draw. Say, so, sorry, I will. But where are the odds of Tentacle? Pow! Bang. Goodbye, tree. I will play Sagittarius Gaze to exalt the Mermook. I will play Lycosaurus and kill EE -E with the play ability. I'll play Saurus Rex. I'll use Monument to Faust. Um, use the fonts. And your turn. I am going to say I'm gonna say this. I'll play Lilithal and I'll play Binding Irons on you. And it's your turn, I'll draw to you. Play Shadows. Play Secret Needle. Play Dark Wave. Play Red Penny. I'll discard Nexus. And I'm done. Oh, right. I am going to say Star Alliance. I'm going to play Transport Platform. I am going to play Walls, who is going to get back 
the dongle. I am going to play Ingram, who's going to reward herself. I'm going to dongle this Ingram. I will play Garcia. And it is your turn. I will say check with seven. I will draw four. Yeah, um, I had a, the Vayflare deck that I have has Creative Nature and Tintadlin. Um, that's like, <laughs> Tintadlin is like the best creature in the deck for uh, Creative Nature. I'll say Sanctum. I'm going to play two Gorms. I will purify the mutants here. Yeah. My rad pick. See that or like a source. Maniac doing. I do get to capture one. C certified maniac. Yeah. Uh yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> Mutant. It's a cleansing wave. It's a fond eye. That's a fan fizzle heart. That's a Ludo. That's what you were looking for, I think. Ludo is good. And then I'll burning glare to stun um, the medic. Okay. Actually, I'll. Doesn't really matter. I'll stun medic. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say um, Star Alliance. I'm going to play Arms Master Molina. I am going to play First Officer Frain. I'm going to capture this Amber on to the Mermook. I am going to pop the Creed of Nature. I'm going to have Garcia fight uh, Ludo. So it's going to assault three, then skirmish down. So your keys are going to cost plus two. I'm going to transport her platform back to the Mermook. Um, I am going to unstun Ingram. I am going to reap with walls. Uh, going and getting. Explore River, which I will train. And I'll say check with seven. So forge for eight? Forge for eight, yeah. I will draw. Okay, we'll say sorry, and I'll go ahead and gorm the transport platform. Yeah. I will play a Ludo. I just killed that asshole. I will reap with. Saurus Rex. Exalt. It's here Faust. Very scary rain noises. Just, we just I, think, I think it's just regular rain noises, but but it's very loud. Okay, I play Torvus Faust capture. You like can hear your it Jeez, uh, we'll fight Slithal. Fortunately, I can't kill any of these uh, Star Alliance guys with like a source right now because of the Molina and the elusiveness. And then I'll use Font of the Eyes. And use the Monument. Just because. Your turn. 
All oh, right, I am gonna say Starlight. So I'm gonna play Uncharted Lance. That's uh, that's a problem. I am gonna reap with walls. I'm gonna get yeah. back. I don't know. Tell me. I'm gonna get back, Explorer Rover. I'm gonna put Explorer Rover on to. Lolina. Um, Lolina's gonna fight Ludo. Um, I'm gonna reap with Ingram. Ward Garcia. Garcia's gonna fight Ludo. He will cost plus two next turn. And then Frain is going to take out Saras. Or Faust. Sorry, Faust. The order, order of the kill chain there. Um, okay, so I'll say check with 10. It'll be your turn. I will draw one. Star Alliance land on their, sh their ship. And they're beset by dinosaurs. And they just keep shooting dinosaurs. It's the uh, Mandalorian scene uh, we're in the ice cave, all spiders. Yeah. All right, I'm going to say Saurian. I will. Never run, out of, never run out of the dinosaurs. Fight Molina. So, or the hazardous, and then. Okay. Trade. I'm going to play a Dreadbone. Exalt to kill. Yeah, I could go ahead and fight Brain. Okay. Then play Dreadbone, Exalt to kill Sensor Chief. Then Reap with Saurus Rex and Exalt. Faust. Maybe I should have killed Saurus. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, mean, uh, I wasn't gonna for the Faust. I, I the Faust at least I effing forged yeah. finally, right? Like that's the thing. I'm trying to like get this key through. I think if you play the Faust, I don't know. It's up to you, right? Like I think you can make me pay this. I do full make one. you pay the full here. Yeah, I um, I make you pay as much as possible at least. So I play Faust. I can font ones. That's plus four, and I don't use Monument Faust, right? Yeah. You can make you can just make me pay the full eleven by using the monument and not capturing one with the font the eye. Uh there's a Faust in my discard pal, so it's plus two. Right. So you don't capture one on Faust, you just play the Faust. Oh yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I have okay. eleven and I you see. make me pay the full eleven. I right? see what you're saying. So yeah, um, I've used monument. And that's plus two plus five. Okay. Got it. And then yeah, we use Gorm to blow up the transporter. Or the, the lands, yeah. Okay. Your turn. Alright, I'll forge. I will say untamed. I am going to play unnatural selection. I'll choose um these three. So Dreadbone dies. I will. Yeah, sorry. I just, uh, you can you can understand that I f wasn't expecting to flip this key at this point, correct? Um, I am going to Mermook Saurus. Um, I'll play as other Mermook. I will play the fittest. I will put some plus one plus one counters out and about. I will play unsuspecting prey to put two damage in the foul, so I'll discard Fang Tooth. It's your turn. I'll draw three, shuffle and draw. Three. Okay, I'll say uh, uh, at, at this time I 
half check because it's seven and my key costs seven. I'll say, uh, same thing. I will bangs the Mermook. Play Lorena. Play a Lycanite. Play a Champion. I'll do a damage there. Um, that's it. And forge for plus one. Okay. You can stop so if you wanted to. Uh, oh. You killed my... No, you I purged, purged it. it. You yeah. purged. So I'll forge for six. Okay, I am going to say this. I'm going to play Harbinger of Doom. I will Binding Irons. Um, I will Born Its Touch myself because I want the maximum chance to... Goodbye, Unsuspecting. I want the maximum chance to hit an Unsuspecting Prey from my draw. Sorry, Unnatural Selection. I'll say Sanctum. I will fight Ingram, fight Ingram, fight Ingram. I'm sick of her trash. I will Burning Glare, stun the Harbinger. Uh, actually, I'll stun walls. Stun walls. Uh, I don't really want that cloak novel is actually a problem for me. I will purify my Lyco Knight and capture one. Cards. Nexus. I'll use font. And I'm done. Okay, I'm going to save this. I'm going to crash the Harm Journal Arena. Okay. And I will play E. It's your turn. I'm going to S E. Yeah. Um, have to get rid of that board. I'll say sorry. I will beware the odds. Yeah. Play Sagittarius Gates. Play Crystal Search. Use my image. Your turn. Okay. I am going to say Star Alliance. We'll play Transport Platform. I'm going to play a Kirker. I'm going to play a Garcia to make the keys cost plus two. Put a force field on Garcia. And I will put an explorer over on Kirker. Um, I will say check with six. I will draw five. Unfortunately, I'll say shadows. Play a ransack. Kill one, two, three. Play. Well, Bruno. Actually, I'll play. Shadow Smith, Opportunist, or no, Flexing Sophistry. Ghost Talk. It's probably very, pretty good. Very relevant. Yeah. See what I draw. Hopefully, it's not ransack. It's not. Okay. Uh, secret needle. Okay. Mm. I am going to say this. I'm going to call the week 
Um, old Bruno, I suppose. I will rock grub to make you lose one. I will play Lilithal. Yeah, it's your turn. I will draw four. Play Shadows. Play Ransack. Deal one. Two. Okay. Bang. I will see the, the, the rock grub. The mass mutation status cards are wonderful designs. <laughs> I will read. He's a pawn. Uh, your turn. Okay, I am going to say, if I had the ghost talk, I could threaten here. Um, I am going to say Star Alliance. Um, I will play First Officer Frayne. Um, Garcia is going to fight the Shadow Smith to make a keys cost plus two. I'm going to transport platform Garcia. I'll play Garcia. I will uh, frame captured ones. I guess I'm a little Put force field on Garcia. Kirker is going to kill the Shadow Smith. Um, and it is your turn. Oh. <laughs> Lose to Ransack. What a... I'll play Sarian. I will Crystal Surge. No. I guess I can play this Faust first so I can get the capture icon. Sure. Um, actually, no, I can't. No, I can play Boar of the Eyes first. Okay. And then Sagittarius Case. Okay. Then play Faust. Uh, I'll use Monument. Okay. Your turn. So. Oops. Okay. I am going to. Um. Put that in the wrong place. Put it in the wrong place. I will say, oh, it's tilting. Um, well, reap with frame. Uh, Kirker will fight Faust. No, nah, put Faust back. Um, I'll put Explorer over on Garcia. Garcia will fight Faust. Then I'll transport a platform, Garcia. I'll play Garcia. Kirker will finish Faust off. Um, I'll put the force field on Kirker. I will just play this explorer over I think at this point um, and it is your turn I will draw I couldn't threaten there all right I'll say sanctum bangs the river I'll play a purify no I guess I can play this uh, Lorena first she's not needed capture one um, discard cleansing wave. Your turn. Uh, that's game. I can I can stop another five, but yeah. I have the unnatural selections in my head now. Um, if I had the ghost talk, I could have uh, used the ghost talk to reap. Mm -hmm. Um, and play all that garbage. Oh, the uncharted lands was in the bottom five card. That game was very close. Yeah, it's a good matchup. I I'm. I'll be honest. I've been tilted the last two days. I don't. I couldn't even explain to you why. Couldn't even tell you why. I, um, I I've been like just generally in a bad mood most of this year. Uh, uh, and I think it's just because like burnout. Right. Yeah. It's like we've been working nonstop <laughs> for the last year now. Yeah. At I, home. I, vacation. Vac what? Yeah. What's I mean, vacation? I think human beings need a break. Yeah. So, uh, the yeah, yeah it's the it's the one of the things that drives me insane in KeyForge is when um because you you especially in an archive matchup you know what the opponent's deck is and you're trying to play around stuff and you play around it and they reshuffle and they draw it again immediately they draw something real bad for you 
Um, that ransack right there, I gotta tell you, that was um, the fact that ransack I got hit for five um, was just awful. And I was, I think I was like, I, uh, if I had had, um, I couldn't hit the unnatural selection right. I, I have two draws at unnatural selection. I've purged like four or five <laughs> discards at that point. I've purged a bunch of bunch of extra stuff. I have a chance to hit the unnatural selection on the, the shuffle through. And I have to take that dog shit this turn to kill everything and play it at the EE that doesn't even get to steal there, right? If I get to steal there, then I think the game is like completely different. Um uh that game was so close. I I I do feel uh um I feel bad for getting tilted in the middle of that because that game's actually good. And you don't want to just like hear me complain about this game. Um, but because there were a lot of like really tight plays. The force field, if I if I don't put the force field on Garcia, the thing was I, I was putting the force field on it so I could protect Garcia. I wasn't expecting Justin to just gain all that amber out of his hand, right? Um I wasn't I was hoping that with the stuff I had on the table that I could stop the next key. But he immediately threatened, and it was it forced me to use Garcia twice, right? That's what um, that's what uh, I feel like lost me the game there because I didn't reap. I was sitting at five, like uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it, that deck's just tilting to play against because, um, especially like that Saurian setup that he had um, in the middle of the game. Rants right turn. Well, fair I enough. Mean, I'm sure some people are, enjoy the rants. Yeah, exactly. I try to stay focused in the rants. I do think. While my rants have a tendency to kind of skew all over the place, I do think um, I try to like deliver good information in my rants, and it is a way for me to like cool down after losing a game that that was that close. I mean, what was the total amount paid for keys that game? Um, the amount of amber stolen, captured, destroyed in that game was probably in the sixties. I'm not really a ranter. Yeah, it's, it was a lot. I I don't. I may have ranted like one time ever. Um, <laughs> I don't remember why. Yeah, but yeah, no, it was it was a ton. Uh, that is a very back and forth. Hide egg just like taxes a lot. It yeah. steals a decent amount, but it captures a ton. Right. It, well, I mean, it it has the potential to steal a decent amount. Yeah. Um, it just does a lot of capturing. Yeah, a lot of capturing. And you yeah. you dealt with the Ludos pretty well, but the Ludos, I, I imagine in some matchups, if decks can't deal with the Ludo and it's behind like a stupid little arena. Yeah. I think that's what happened in the first matchup it was in. You just can't win. Yeah. You literally cannot win. Because it's like, I'll kill this You can't do anything. I'll kill the, I have to kill this three armor, six power creature that's elusive because of stupid boss Tarek now or opportuni that Like, the synergy in that deck is off the charts. It is. It's really good. Um, it's weak to, like, bounce. But, like, even board wipes, it's resilient against. Because you've got, like, two Ludos out and you board wipe. All the creatures... Ludo can die, but all the creatures that have amber. That's why the, the natural selections are like probably one of the best board ups against yes. it. Yes, yeah, because you can like save specific creatures. You yeah. actually have to like spread the amber around. Otherwise, you'd like want to load up somebody stupid like a Shadow Smith and just crash it into something and yep. get it killed. So, all right, well, the, that font, was, uh... the fonts. It's it's like that deck is like very good at generating value over a over a long time. Which and it makes like, you, it makes the game take that long. Yeah, it's what that's what you want from decks that aren't super efficient, mm -hmm. right? That's the that's the thing. Um. So yeah. Anyway, and I don't regret purging the red penny. Let it be known. Wizard thank Randy. you hey, for that thanks. cheer there, Wizard. Yeah, that that always helps me untilt too. So you're hearing that bit donation uh, yeah, sound. It's nice and soothing. It's very soothing. Very soothing sound. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday for it, a gauntlet. It might be because I'm basically done with the Path of Exile League. That might be why I'm partially tilted. I don't know what. To you play have nothing to bring you joy in life anymore. Yeah. Look, there's still GTRP. It's fine. It's yeah, it's all... funny. It's really funny. Yeah, but it's good. Um. I'm not like. We're just gonna have to kind of, donate five hundred dollars to No Pixel so we can play on it. Yeah. I think if I think that I think the easiest I think it is legitimately probably easier to learn to code and fix the stuff that's wrong on the server and get um, on that team and to get on that team to get on the server than it would be to just pay money, right? Because I'm sure the 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 list seeing what people donate like you go like I have seen crazy numbers not like not like a shroud or doc at their highest like when people are just dropping like mm -hmm. you know two thousand dollars for some reason but like i i saw somebody donate in the span of five minutes he had a ten thousand bit donation that's a hundred dollars yeah um 
followed by gifting a hundred subs, which is five hundred dollars, yep. and then donating another ten thousand bit donation. Okay. So it was three minutes, seven hundred bucks. <laughs> okay. And I was like, holy shit. Yeah. So the dude, uh, the I don't know if anybody's watched any of the GTRP. I don't. Um, you might be in the demographic for it. You might enjoy it. Um, but uh, the um, uh, the one of the the streamer that I really enjoy watching. There's plenty to pick from. That's like point. one of those things where you hear it's, what it is and you're like, that kind of sounds dumb. But then yeah. you watch it and you're like, what? This is so engaging. It's very incredible. Um, this was not GTR. GTR. <laughs> unfortunately, TTR no. Valheim, sir. Um, I so I did download it. Uh, I played for like two minutes because I've, I, I've downloaded about. 10 games in the last month and I played all of them for a combined total of 30 minutes. <laughs> so. Um uh the uh the one the the streamer that I will watch cuz it's almost like a priority system it's like if X is on I watch them yeah. if Y is on if X is not on and Y is I'll watch Y and so on and whatever. But um I've been watching uh Buddha and um he went from and I think I, he exploded even before that. Um, but he went from 4,000 subs to 8,000 subs in the span of a week, um, which is insane numbers. That is crazy numbers. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Uh, I would say the bulk of them were gifted, too. Because yeah. um, I think that's just the kind of thing that happens. So. Yeah, Johnny Silverhand is very funny. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's, he's good. Pretty good. His, his just, it's impressive how he uh, does his, his shtick. So, um, he also has a Gordon Ramsay character. I don't know if you saw that character. I have not seen that yeah, character. Yeah, pretty good, too. The, uh, I saw that the Johnny Silverhand character led, like, a raid on the nuclear power plant. And there's, like, apparently there's, like, story stuff that happens if something happens at the plant. It like I think you there's like there's some crazy stuff that can happen at the plant because because I was hearing that if the plant goes down it takes out part of the city kind of thing and Whoa. I was just kind of like I wonder if you can cut power to the plant so you can like break into the bank yes I yeah. think I think I think it's like um uh because I think the the way no pixel is set up is that it's definitely sandboxy where it's just kind of like people make their own stuff like the the prevailing storyline at this time is just two competing restaurants in town and it's like all the dirty tricks they try to pull on each other um but uh the the uh since he's he's playing jo he's playing like actual Johnny Silverhand for Cyberpunk who well, um was like an anarchist and so um, but he behaves like a badly coded NPC. But he <laughs> behaves as if he were like cyberpunk on console. Um, and so uh, he uh, was like trying to lead a band, a ragtag band of of like vigilantes to take out the power plant. Um, and there were like a lot of and like there were several people who are like kind of newer to it. And what um, one it's of pretty them, good code, right? I would recommend. Uh, finding a no pixel streamer to watch and just like checking him out for a while and yeah. if you see if you see them run into a character and that you like go watch that character yeah go watch yeah. that streamer for a while yeah. and eventually you'll find a few that you like want to follow yeah there's but i would I, recommend hassan is just like a he's he's new to it too yeah so he's learning a lot of the stuff so he makes a real good introduction to it because he hasn't played this before but he's in with a pretty good group of, of like experienced people um who do know what they're doing and um it a lot of it is it's very improv where it's just you mostly yes and your way through it right yeah. and that's like the, the the best people just roll with the punches um and just create like all these absurd situations around them um uh there are several streamers that i would put in the s tier just they're just head and shoulders above other people um uh one of them is uh tony Cor corleone he's the dude he sounds like a duck um he <laughs> talks like he has like this real nasally he's just like it's just like he's he's um it just sounds like a duck and um because he'll say stuff like all right all right and chat just fills with like ducker z emotes when he's on the screen and just like putting whatever he's saying next to like a duck picture um but the dude um uh it does an amazing job of not breaking character but being goofy um but uh tony corleone is like he's one of those dudes where you like if you push him past the point he just goes insane um and so uh i want to say some of the most gripping rp I ever saw was like on their no pixel 2 um there was a situation where 
Um, one of the characters was kidnapped and Tony was trying to find the guy and Tony's on the phone calling everyone he knows because he knows like the general area where the character he is and just watching the streamer RP the situation of you trying to find your friend before a bullet gets put in his head and he's just driving around the like driving around the city and he's like tell me you've seen him I gotta know where he is. I'm getting him back. That's my boy, you know. And it's just, it was just one of those where it's, it's like just intense. like it's like a thriller it's, movie. It's like white knuckle, and you're yeah. watching it, and then you realize an hour and a half has passed, and you're like, where did that go? Like, no, I didn't even... You can like choose your own type of TV show you want. Yeah, watch. you can watch like a comedy I, you, and a restaurant. If you want to, if you want to watch, watch, yeah, if a you want thriller, yeah, exactly. If you want to watch like a, a comedy, like if you want to watch comedy. a sitcom. You, you follow one of the characters who is in, like, the burger shot. And it's just, you have, like, this parade of colorful characters coming to your store because everybody has to eat in the server. So everybody um, comes into the burger shot to get some food. And you just follow, like, the employees working there. And it's a bunch of people who, half of them are, like, convicts. Half of them are just goofy characters. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of depth to some of the characters. They feel like throwaway um, characters. Because there's, like, characters who have... Um, uh like basically joke names like i musari um is a character who works in the burger shot and uh you know it, it's just things like that uh but th they're they're pretty funny uh there's the they develop death death yeah. as they go exactly on, right? exactly because like i said it's very improv you just kind of somebody asks you a question about your character you make up something on the spot no, but you, all of a sudden that's canon but that's canon that's your character and you just roll with it yeah so all right. Well, uh, with that said, we're gonna go watch it. We're gonna go, watch, go back to watch. Thanks for so. watching us uh, and listening to our rant about <laughs> GTRP and keyboards and stuff. Yeah. Back with Gauntlet, Mr. Jack Feet. That should be fun. On, uh, on Wednesday, yeah. I'm excited about that. We haven't done a Gauntlet in like uh, months, maybe since last November. It's been a long it's time. Been a while. It's been a while. So that'll be fun. And everyone have a great night, and we'll see mm. you on Wednesday. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.